Hi everyone, my name is Nicole and welcome to the Weeks Nest DIY. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you some Target Dollar Spot DIYs. Target always has such great items, both seasonal and year round in their dollar spot. And I'm gonna show you some great Target blanks, some easy projects that anyone can do using the Target pieces that I picked up today. So let's get started. Also, be sure to watch this video through so you can find out how to enter the giveaway. So let's get started. So like I said, Target dollar spot DIYs, really easy. I can't wait to share these with you. So Target has these wood block houses in varying sizes, and I'm gonna show you three different ideas for them. So you have kind of like a shorter, wider one, a kind of, I guess, average size house if you want, if you will, and then a one that's comparable but thinner. So you can also use these reversible and like do something for Christmas, which I will do. That's what I'm planning. So for the kind of middle sized one, I'm going to do a candy corn look for this. Now I'm going to take some tape and for the first color, I'm going to take this sunflower yellow from Arteza, give it two coats. And I thought I had orange paint when I filmed this and I realized I had more of a terracotta. So this is going to look more like, you know, the candy corn mix that's like that autumn mix that's like the brownish candy corn, that's more of the unintentional vibe that we're gonna get from this. But you know what? Let me know in the comments if you're like me. I love candy corn, so I like all of it, <laughs> so I'm fine with it. But if you want like a true traditional candy corn, I would use an orange. Or before you do this project, if you decide to recreate it, don't be like me and double check your paint colors. So in between coats, you want to make sure that you make sure everything's dry. I use my blow dryer before I lift up that paint. And then before I work in the middle, I'm just going to add another piece of tape and go in with some white chalk paint. Since I use chalk paint for the top, I only had to use one coat. So just keep that in mind when you're using an acrylic paint, more than likely, especially on an unfinished wood surface, you are going to need more than one coat, whereas chalk paint is much thicker. I'm sure many of you know this, so you don't need as many coats of paint. And now for the middle that was supposed to be orange, but it's more of a terracotta <laughs> brown color. Um, I'm going to put paint, not paint, I'm going to put tape very gently over that paint. It's already dry, but you still want to make sure that you just kind of gently lay that tape just so it doesn't peel up the paint. And then I am going to paint that middle before I do any touch-ups to the seam where the tape is removed. Now I did want to mention Dollar Tree in their crafter square section does have like these wood pile boxes and if you search through them most Dollar Trees do have now these wood houses. They don't have the little roof, not roof, what's it called? Chimney on them but they're similar. So I use my Cricut and I just had this decal that said trick or treat. Lots of different options you could do if you do not have a Cricut but I think this is super cute, very subtle Halloween decor. Now for our next option using the house, I'm going to take this little mug hook and I am going to screw this right in to the top of this house. And I love using these because they're really sturdy and you don't need any tools. They just screw right in. And we're gonna hang little recipe cards on this. Now I did provide a printable, which I will have linked down below. And I just wanted to let you know that if you have issues downloading the links, I'm not sure what's going on. I've used the same site for years and now I know people are having issues. You can always email me. My email is theweeksnest at gmail. In the title of the email, just write printable and then in the email, let me know which printable you want. I will gladly send you the PDF. I know a lot of you reached out to me and I've emailed you back with those PDFs. I make these printables for you to enjoy crafting and I wanna make sure that you continue to get them and craft along with me. So I will gladly give you those PDFs if you want. Now, I just found some pumpkin related um, recipes on Pinterest that I like. I put them in these kind of like cute label form. I laminated them so they're a little more sturdy, added a hole punch, and how cute is this? This is super cute in a kitchen, on a coffee bar. I just think this is a really nice way to display some recipes you wanna try for the season. And you can of course change this year round. You could do more Christmassy ones. You could do year round stuff, little appetizers. This would also make a really good gift with just different recipes that you wanna share with someone.
And for the last house, I just put some chalk board paint on there. And this can just be like a little memo reminder pad. Looks cute, decorative. Again, I always like adding something that has a little function. Now the next project is using this cutting board tray and I created two more printables. One is a pumpkin spice latte printable and another one is a peppermint hot cocoa recipe. These were ones I found on Pinterest and just added to my own printable. I laminated them again. Truth be told, I'm just obsessed with laminating. I will link my laminator down below. It's from Amazon. And I just think that for interchangeable decor like this or something with like a recipe card, it's just nice to have it laminated so that you know it's protected, it doesn't get dirty, and that it will withstand the test of time. So I just took my time, cut this out, and then this is gonna be an option you could do for fall or Christmas. Using the Dollar Tree little fastener dots, I love these. I used them in a recent project, which I will link down below, is an interchangeable coffee bar sign for all the different seasons. So these just Velcro, they have a good hold, and it allows you to use these for different seasons and switch them out. So again, if you need these printables and have issues with getting them you always can email me and i will send them to you you want to have the opposing fastener dot whichever is the opposite of the texture you put on the back of the printable you want to put that on the center of the cutting board or whatever surface you're working with and you have a really cute way to display a recipe on a coffee bar Not too long ago, I shared Hocus Pocus DIYs. I will have part two coming out next week. I found this kind of cauldron piece, $5 at Target, and I added my own printable to it. I think this is super cute. This just says Sanderson Sisters Brewing Co., and I will have that available for you. And again, make sure those notification bells are turned on because I will have part two. I have a ton of Hocus Pocus inspired DIYs for you. Next Monday, the 27th, I will link part one for you down in the description box below. I added some of these potion bottles from Target. They were $1 and this is super, super cute. And who doesn't love a good Hocus Pocus DIY? we get to our next project, I just wanted to share what is coming up for the rest of September. So this Friday, the 24th, I will have some reversible decor for you. This will show you fall to Christmas options. Next Monday, the 27th will be Hocus Pocus DIYs part two. And then next Thursday, September 30th will be a new non-cutting machine technique that you are able to apply decals without a cutting machine. I am so excited, you don't wanna miss it, so make sure those notification bells are turned on. I thought these were pretty cool. They're these magnetic frames. They have different frame pieces or little like strips you can put on the corners of a picture or printable. I made this printable and I just like having pretty magnets on my fridge. So I added the four corners to this and I think this is super cute. You get lots of different options to hang stuff up on your fridge and that was only a dollar. So a really quick DIY, but I wanted to share. Now Dollar Tree for, not Dollar Tree, I'm so used to saying Dollar Tree, Target, there we go, wrong store, has these signs. Now you can use it as a kit. You can use it horizontally or vertically. Um, and they're $3. So I decided to do my own thing and I wanted to use this um, vertically. There we go. So I went ahead and just unscrewed the hanging piece for the horizontal option so that it doesn't poke out when I have this hanging up on the wall. And then I left the wood frame as is and I just went ahead and painted carefully the inside with some white paint. Um, I do suggest using a flatter brush like I am using um, just so you don't get any paint on the frame. But I mean, I tried my best. I still got a little bit on. It's just really difficult to paint pieces like this. And I know I probably should have taped it. Hindsight is 2020. Didn't think of that. Um, <laughs> I'm in such a zone when I film sometimes that like I just don't think of obvious things. Um, but yeah, so I did this. Now I used my Cricut 
for this, I'm going to try to create a printable that is comparable to the um, design that I did in my Cricut Design Space. Um, but I found this piece of um, wall decor on Pinterest and it had said, fall for Jesus, he never leaves. And I absolutely love that. One, it's like a great like wording for fall, but it also is just such a true statement. So that's what I'm gonna put on. But before I do put on that decal, I'm just gonna take some of this light tan acrylic paint this is Warm Buff, I believe, from Apple Barrel, and I am going to just do a little bit of dry brushing. Now, I purposely did this dry brushing when the paint was like 90% dry, just so it kind of blended a little bit and looked a little more aged. I like to do that sometimes before the paint dries, just so it looks a little bit more smudgy, but you can also just let it dry and add it after. So like I said, I'm adding this decal. I absolutely love this. And this is a piece that I can leave out year round, which I do like. I like making pieces that can go seasonal or year round because sometimes when you really love something, you just don't want to put it in storage. So once I did that, I'm going to re-add those little um, leaf stickers. And that's the great part about them. They're adhesive, so you don't need any hot glue. And I'm going to add those to the corners of this sign. There you have it. I think this is absolutely beautiful and such a great way to really customize a piece from the Target dollar spot. I thought I took a before picture of this, but I didn't. So the Target dollar spot has for $5 what they're calling these tiered display risers. They had a black version like this and an unfinished. I added this decal to it that says apothecary and I'm putting my essential oils on this. If you're not new to my channel, you know I love ways I can display them. And you also can add little tier tray decor like this from the Target tier tray decor kits that they have. And I will link that video I did recently. I showed you lots of different options for it, but they're a great way to kind of make a functional piece as well as a decorative display. Also found this blanket shawl it's called. So I was a little confused. I was like, is it meant to be a shawl or a blanket? <laughs> I think it's just meant to be a shawl, but I'm gonna use it as a display blanket on my blanket ladder. So I use my Cricut heat press and I just cut out a monogram for my last name. Um, now, if you don't have a Cricut, a lot of craft stores have the like pre-cut monogrammed um, initials or that you can use. So that's an option also, and just a regular iron will apply that. So I just center this to the bottom and that is it for this. I figured I would just share, this is usually what the scene looks like behind when I am editing or styling. I always have <laughs> one of my kids near me. Um, and then I found this really pretty tear tray. They had a ton of different options, but this one really spoke to me. So I picked up this and then I just displayed it with that wood gnome I made not too long ago. I had that link down below, the Target tiered tray kit pumpkin, the house sign, and then this super cute metal farmhouse truck that I also got from the Target dollar spot. And I love this because I can use this year round, seasonally, however I wanna display it, I think it's so pretty. Now, if you stuck along or stuck around this long, I just wanted to say thank you. I appreciate all of you who come back and watch my channel. It seriously means so much to me. I love being able to share my crafts with you all and this channel has definitely been so great to build connections and relationships and talk with all of you and it's also been a huge blessing to my family. So I picked up these goodies from the Target dollar spot that I want to give to one of you who wins this giveaway. You get the tiered tray, the kit, the farmhouse truck, and this set of the block 
houses that are finished. Now to enter, all you have to do is comment something that you look forward to doing each fall. Since today is the first day of fall and who doesn't love fall, I figured that is a good way to enter. The giveaway will be open until Sunday the 26th of September at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and due to shipping costs, it is only open to US and Canada residents. So again, it's just a little thank you. So don't forget to comment something you look forward to doing each fall. And then if you do a little fall emoji, you get an extra entry into the giveaway. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I appreciate you all. I hope you all are doing well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed and turn on the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video, I will have another video coming out this Friday and then my Hocus Pocus part two video will be out next week. You don't wanna miss it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.